Hey guys, Sasha from netbooknews.com with a new Alterbook comparison video. We are going to compare the uh, very first Asus Zenbox UX 31E with the new one with uh, Iverbridge right now, UX 32 VD, which is actually also uh, the first Alterbook that comes with an additional discrete GPU, and that's a GT 620M from NVIDIA. Let's take a quick look around the system here. We have a connector for your PSU, there are two USB 3.0 HDMI out, a display port out, uh, we have a jack for your headset, and on the other side we have a 4-in-1 card reader, another USB 3.0, and that's about it. It's still a nice brushed aluminum, there's a sealed battery in there, which I absolutely hate. It also comes only with a 48 watt hour battery. Um, and opening it, uh, what you will see is, first of all, it has a matte screen, and it only comes, well, over here in Taiwan with a resolution of 1366 by 768, but the international version will also have a 1600 by 900 options, and I'm pretty sure we will also see 1080p device by the end of the year. The huge improvement when it comes to the Zenbook, and especially to the previous version, we're gonna take a look at in a moment, uh, is the new keyboard, as a new keyboard layout, uh, as a better physical feedback from each and every key, and um, yeah, that, that's definitely a huge improvement over the first series of uh, Zenbooks. Uh, what else is here to say? Uh, it's running on a Core i5 um, with 1.7 gigahertz. It's a mobile version and it uh, can go into this turbo mode of 2.4 gigahertz. 4 gigabyte of DDR3 RAM, uh, 24 gigabyte SSD for the system and a 500 gigabyte hard disk drive. And that's about it. Let's take a look at the previous version, that's a special version that Nicole got from Intel uh, during CBIT, um, as you can see with this nice little um, laser-etched uh, design here. Um, that's the UX31E with Sandy Bridge. Um, it has a glossy display, 1600 by 900 is the resolution, and I can immediately tell that the keyboard looks quite different. It has these silver keys, like, like, like silver metal keys, and you know what? Uh, even though that this is a proper keyboard, I would definitely prefer the new one. I just, I mean, it just feels better. Um, the physical feedback is just way better. Same um, mouse pad, mouse trackpad, uh, trackpad with integrated mouse buttons. That's what I wanted to say. Uh, but what you can see here is it's quite a different in terms of uh, how thin the devices are, or not thin. Um, this starts um, at the thinnest point, it's three millimeter goes up to 17, this is five and goes up to 18 millimeters. There's also a difference when it comes to the weight of these devices. Um, this one is 1.45 kilograms, this one is 1.3 kilograms, and this one comes with a 50 watt hour battery, this only sports a 48 watt hour battery. A huge advantage of the new UX32 VD is that you have a lot of uh, I.O. ports here, so you have uh, another uh, USB 3.0 on the right side, and you have a huge HDMI out, look why we only have this little mini one here, and on the other side are, again, a USB 3.0, while this was sporting a USB 2.0. So if you are looking for a brand new Ultrabook, and if you need a little bit more GPU bang, um, then you should definitely consider the new UX32 VD with this NVIDIA GT 620M graphic card. Uh, we did a lot of benchmarks, we, we've been running some games on it. Uh, I've been playing Skyrim at high quality and it just runs absolutely smoothly. So that's a quick comparison between the UX31E and the new UX32VD. I'm Sascha for netbooknews.com. Thanks for watching.